Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Franklin's Flying Bookshop. This book is written by Jen Campbell and is illustrated by Katie Hartnett. This is the front cover, this is the back cover, and this is the spine. Okay, friends, let's get started. Franklin's Flying Bookshop. This is the title page, Franklin's Flying Bookshop by Jen Campbell and illustrated by Katie Harnett. Franklin loved stories. Stories kept him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. Wow, look, he has a book over here, book over here. Oh my goodness, look how many books he has. So many. Every day, Franklin reads about King Arthur and roller skating, about electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet and how to do Kung Fu. Oh, look, the bats are doing Kung Fu and the mice are using the electric mixer. Maybe they're making a cake. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies because fireflies like to hear stories too. But if it's a warm night, he spreads his wings and flies into the sky to read by the light of the moon. There is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there, but it is always quiet and it is always empty and he can never find anyone to read stories to. Oh no, I wonder why. Well, here's somebody in the butcher. She looks a little bit scared. People in the hair salon, they look a little bit scared. They're ducking down so Franklin won't see them. Here's the produce doll, he's scared. And the bakery, he looks scared. I don't think any of them know that Franklin is a nice dragon. So Franklin goes home and he reads about gymnastics and he helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. Then he yawns oh, very loudly and he stretches his tail and climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. He sleeps tucked up under hundreds of comics and dreams about Vikings sailing over the seas. One day, by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What are you? cries the man, quaking in his boots. I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who loves books, and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod, and he runs far away. Oh, I think he was really scared of Franklin, wasn't he? So Franklin goes home and he reads about music and he helps the mice in his cave start up a band. The next day by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. What are you? cries a lady shivering on the spot. I'm Franklin, says Franklin and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon and a band manager and I like ballet. But the lady screams loudly and runs far away. So Franklin trails home and reads about space and helps the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. Oh, he's not having much luck meeting humans. They're all really scared of him. But the next day in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same color as the leaves. And she's reading a book sitting under a tree. Hmm, Franklin likes books too. Who are you? Asked the girl jumping up to her feet. I, 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 I'm Franklin, says Franklin. And he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. 
I love dragons, cries the girl, and she shakes Franklin's hand. You're in this book that I'm reading about a faraway land. Look at the book she's reading about the dragons. Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, about fruit bats and acrobats, and how to be a spy. Wow. Look, there's the man he had talked to the other day. He is really surprised to see Luna and Franklin talking to each other. Franklin tells Luna he's read about sword fighters and fire eaters, about circuses and anteaters, about flower arranging and carol singing and making apple pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles, and very happy ends. Stories about new people and strange places and about a making friends. They want to share their favorite books with as many people as they can. So they sit down together and they come up with a plan. Oh my goodness, a plan? I wonder what the plan's gonna be. It looks like Franklin's holding a pen. Luna's sitting there on a stool. There's some tea over here. There's a bat. What are they gonna do? They hoist bookshelves up high with the help of the mice. And they tie ropes round and around to make sure they fit tight. They move a sofa, some cake tins, and tie comics on with a string to make a small lopsided bookshelf between Franklin's wings. <gasps> well, look, it's a bookshop on Franklin's back. A whole bookshelf that's tied onto his back with string. Wow. Everybody climbs on board. Luna holds her breath. <gasps> the mice hold on to each other. The fireflies gasp and the bats cross their toes. Franklin bends down low and runs as fast as he can. Whoa, he sprints down the hill and spreads out his wings and takes off into the sunset with the help of the wind. Franklin lands his flying bookshop in the middle of the village. It's the dragon, cries the fisherman. What a monster, cries another. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind and he's clever, and he is my friend. There is a small silence. Franklin shuffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he says, and he waves at the crowd who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come say hello and pull up a chair. Looks like they're gonna share the books with all the people in the village. The fireflies light up the shelves so that everyone can see the books. The bats cartwheel along the bookcases. And the mites clear their throats and start singing songs like they have a band. It isn't long before the villagers start taking a look, climbing up on Franklin to peer at the books. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passes out cake. He tells them stories about scientists and Antarctica and snakes. He whispers tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee. And everyone is listening to what he has to say. Let's fly, Luna smiles as the fireflies dance and the acrobatic bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold tight as Franklin takes flight, reading books by the light of the moon. So look, they're all on his back. And he's even reading a story while he's flying. And what do you think the, th the bats are doing? They're greeting all the people. I think they finally brought some books to the town. 
the end. And look, here's some books on the last page. Thanks for joining me for story time, friends, as we read Franklin's Flying Bookshop. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.